Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to connect to a proxy server and set up your applications to connect using that proxy. To do this, we're going to need to download an application called Vidalia. The link to the download is in the description box down below if you're watching this video on YouTube or at the top of the page if you're watching this on a website. Once you have downloaded Vidalia, just run the installer and you can just hit next, 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 next because all the options that it asks you to input, you can change them later so it doesn't really matter what you input. Once you have finished this installation, you'll get a screen similar to this one. Now as you can see, the green onion right here means we're connected to the Tor network. If it's red, it means something's wrong with the connection and you need to troubleshoot. If it's yellow, it means it's still connecting and you should get like a little loading bar right here. And just wait till it's green. And once it's green, you're connected to the proxy server. Now, what people don't realize is that just by running Vidalia, or by running the Vidalia GUI, and connecting to the proxy server on the Tor network doesn't mean all applications are under that proxy. You need to set up applications to run that proxy. But I'll get into that later. Okay, now for the GUI. As you can see, we can stop the Tor network so we can turn off the proxy. We can set up relaying, which I'll get into later, and use new identity and view the network. First, I will view the network. If you click on it, you can see all the relays on the network, and as you can see, there's a lot of them. And as you can see, they're from all over the world, so your connections are going to be coming from different parts of the Earth. So if you're using, like, I don't know, if you're using Google, notice that you get a Google from, like, the Netherlands or something. It won't be America's Google, so watch out for that. Okay, and um, now we'll go to settings. And as I mentioned before, you could just skip the installation and go into the GUI, and here you can change all your settings. And the ones I want to hit on are the network settings. So just hit the network tab, and as you can see, I have none of them selected. But let's say you use a proxy to access the internet regardless. Like if you, you have it set up with a different application to always connect to a proxy, to the internet with a proxy, sorry. You select this box, you have to input the address, port number, and all that stuff. And most of you won't really have this, but the one I want to talk about is my IPS blocks connection to the Tor network. Now, some ISPs will block connections to the relays because they know it's a proxy server. So um, what you can do, you can add a bridge to bypass this. All you have to do is check the box and hit find bridges now. It'll search for the bridges and once you have them, all you need to do is add them right here and hit add. That's all I gotta do. I don't have that problem so I can uncheck this box. The second one is sharing. In the installation, you would have gotten a um, window similar to this one and it would ask you what you wanted to use the Tor network for or the Vidalia and what uh, run as client only means it means that you are only taking the connection or the bandwidth from the relays you're not providing any bandwidth to the network okay relay traffic for the Tor network means you're going to be a relay so you're a node in the network and how um, Tor network works is that it connects to the website by connecting to several computers so that you're never like it's you get all the information from different places kind of like a torrent you know it's just connecting to, intricately and by being a node in it you uh, generate speed for other users and uh, it's kind of customary to do this but I wouldn't recommend it because it does give you your IP address and that little uh, network map that I showed you earlier and another option you can choose is to help sensor users reach a Tor network. And it's the uh, same thing as a relay, except your IPS, your IP, sorry, isn't shown on the network. On the map view, this one's hidden so that even if uh, an ISP downloads Vidalia, downloads the map, gets all the IPs, and puts them under the block list, these IPs are not shown on the map, so you can still connect to the Tor network. Or, sorry, uh, the user who uses the bridge connection shown in the network tab can still access the Tor network because you're a, a bridge right here. And I run as client only because I just feel it's safer. I don't know, just me. And then hit OK. And then uh, you can also just hit use a new identity repeatedly to give you a new IP address. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of grayed out, so I can't click on it right now. Once it turns black, It'll uh, see how it turn black again. I can click it again. So there is kind of a, a loading time for that, so don't go crazy and be wondering why your P isn't changing. And uh, now I'll show you how to connect to, uh, sorry, how to 
set up an application to connect to the proxy. What you want to do is open up any application that supports HTTP proxies. So I'll open up Safari and uh, I'll just hit Safari preferences and this should be under the properties, sorry, for a PC it would be under the settings tab, file settings I think. And uh, as you can see I already have it to the advanced tab. This is just how I, can, I find my settings. Each application will be different. This is just how Safari connects to it. I re I'm already on the proxies tab as you can see and it does support HTTP so I'll just check this box and what you want to do you want to enter the host number it's going to be your local host local host sorry so it's always 127.0.0.1 the port number is going to be 8118 this server does not require a password username um, and all that stuff so just hit OK at the end of it and as you can see we are now connected to the proxy server proxy proxy network. I'll go to Google and I'm going to show you that we're connected. I'm going to hit my IP address right here. Misspelled address, nice. As you can see it says I'm in Utah which I'm not, I'm in Texas and it does detect a proxy but that doesn't really matter. Well I hope this tutorial helped you all and if you want any more like it, please visit rootimagination.com. Thanks for watching.